Hey there, David Risley here with blogmarketingacademy.com and I want to talk to you today about Thrive Themes. And more specifically, I want to talk to you about why I so strongly recommend it. Because people who have been with me a while, a lot of my students, a lot of my lab members, know that I'm a big advocate for Thrive Themes and you also are probably smart, you know how this stuff works and you realize that yes, Thrive has an affiliate program and so it may seem as if I'm only promoting Thrive because of commission. So I wanted to put forth a fully developed argument and, and review of Thrive Themes without any bias because I do have a bias toward it, but it's because I'm an avid user of it myself. I actually utilize Thrive Themes all the time in my business. I also know the problems that it can solve for people and for my students, which is why I so strongly recommend it. And so what I wanna do here is I wanna to talk to you about Thrive Themes specifically um, and why I so strongly recommend it and just sort of walk you through the logic on that, okay? The first thing I wanna make mention of here at the beginning is that the company name is called Thrive Themes. And so one might think that that's because themes is the main focus of what they do. Well, it used to be but not anymore. And in fact, the reason I recommend Thrive Themes is got pretty much nothing to do with their theme. They still have some themes available and they're fine. They're actually perfectly good themes, but they don't really actively develop them anymore. And that's because they're now working on a theme builder, which is gonna use the tools of Thrive Architect and some other things to basically build any damn theme you want, which is gonna be so much better. And so I'm not really that interested in their themes. What I'm interested in is primarily the tools that they're creating, okay? And I actually strongly believe that their membership program that gives you access to all of this stuff is the best game in town for your, you know, the, the amount of um, marketing and business capability that you're going to get with that set of tools versus what you're going to be paying for it is just out of this world. And that's why I'm such a massive fan of it. But what I'd like to do is just kind of run you through some of the tools because I don't talk about all of them all the time um, and, and just what they do. So let's first start off with Thrive Architect. Now, Thrive Architect is one is that tool that basically is like the crux of a lot of the other ones, and it's the page builder, and you use it to make landing pages, okay? So any squeeze page, any sales page, any of that, you're typically going to make with Thrive Architect. Now, you can also use it for your homepage and about page and any of that. In fact, many of my blog's core pages were done with Thrive Architect. Okay. The other thing that's really cool about Thrive Architect is that you can use it to actually write your blog post too. And this is something that even though I've been using Architect for a few years now, actually, but be it back before it was even called Thrive Architect, it was called Content Builder at the time. And so I've been using it a long time, but it's funny, it's more recently that I was reminding myself how cool this thing is as a blog post editor. And so now I'm writing all of my blog posts with it and it provides a massive amount of flexibility that you just won't get with the default editor or even the Gutenberg interface that's built into WordPress now. Thrive Architect is freaking awesome, okay? Um, and I, I use it all the time and I'm a massive fan of Thrive Architect. And if you want to be able to design anything on your site, pretty much anywhere on that site, and you're not a coder, you don't know how to do CSS style sheets, you don't know how to program custom PHP crap and all that, Thrive Architect is your answer. The, one of the main reasons that I recommend it so strongly is because um, it alleviates the technical problem for a lot of my students who don't know how to do that stuff manually. Um, and now it's like you drag it in there, set a few properties, and you got yourself what you need in, in a lot of cases just using Thrive Architect. And even though a lot of those things I know how to code them myself, I don't want to. It, it's a massive increase in speed uh, with Thrive Architect, and that is why I'm such a massive fan and use it internally. The next thing I wanna mention is Thrive Leads. Now, Thrive Leads is a, uh, a plugin that uh, will allow you to manage your opt-in forms. That's the, the, the basic short story there. But what it does that's really great um, is that it does split testing. It provides tons of flexibility on the opt-in forms, a lot more so than a lot of other options. And that's because Thrive Architect is the main editor to build those forms. Um, it allows you uh, easier uh, delivery of your lead magnets. If you have like little content upgrades and stuff and you don't wanna build a, a whole email sequence behind it, 
You can deliver lead magnets with Thrive Leads. I mean, it's got a lot of really great capabilities. But what I really like about it too is how it integrates so strongly in with Thrive Architect. And so you could be sitting there writing your blog post in Architect. And if you want a particular um, call to action in there, you can have a library of pre-designed calls to action inside of Thrive Leads. And it's as simple as drag and drop to stick that thing anywhere you want into any blog post, wherever you want it as well. And so it's just a really powerful combination having architect and leads running side by side. Um, and it will uh, essentially take care of any needs that you have for opt-in across your entire WordPress site. The next option I want to mention that a lot of people don't talk about is Thrive Optimize. Now, Thrive Optimize is one that is an add-on for Architect, um, and it allows you to do A-B split testing all inside of your WordPress site. So you no longer do you need to use some weird third-party tool. You don't have to wade through the Google documentation on how to set up a Google you know, experiment through analytics. It's all right there and it's very, very user friendly. So you can have, you can do two different versions of the same page. You build them with Thrive Architect. It'll automatically split the traffic up between them and give you the results and the conversion rates and the whole thing. And you will be able to see which version is working better. And, and you do that repetitively and you're going to fine tune how well all of your landing pages convert. And so that's your answer. If you want to be able to measure conversion rate and do split testing of any page that you've built with Thrive Architect, you need to install Thrive Optimize. Um, and of course, as a Thrive member, you get access to that. The next one I want to mention is Thrive Ovation. Now Thrive Ovation is for collecting and managing and then displaying testimonials. We all know that social proof is a very important part of your conversion rate, having testimonials on there. But the thing is, what most uh, business owners have done is even though they know that testimonials are important, they haven't built any system to actually collect them and manage them. It's, so it ends up being this thing where you're writing a landing page and you're like, crap, I need some testimonials. And then suddenly you go out and you try to find some and see what you can coddle together. Whereas if you have a system built that does this on an ongoing basis, then when it comes time that you need those testimonials, it's just a drag and drop right in there. And that's what Thrive Ovation does. And of course, it integrates beautifully with Thrive Architect. So getting those testimonials onto any page of your site or even in the middle of a blog post is easy peasy. Once again, drag and drop, select a few options, you're done. And it gives you a lot of different display options for them as well. So that's what Thrive Ovation does. A very important part of any growing business is the ability to collect and manage those testimonials. If you've got a system in place to do it, it's going to save you a lot of time and keep you from having to go out and figure out how to do it on the fly. All right. The next one I want to talk about is Thrive Comments. Now, Thrive Comments is a really cool plugin that if you choose to have comments on your blog, and there's definitely valid arguments for not bothering with it, uh, but if you choose to have blog comments turned on on your post, I think you should use Thrive Comments to do it. And the main reason for that is because, uh, first of all, it displays beautifully. It's got uh, you know some cool features on there that are convenient for the end user that I think will help drive engagement on your blog comments. But the big thing I like about it is that it allows you to turn your blog comments into a marketing opportunity. So you, when they after they post a comment, it can display a thing that says, hey, why don't you share this post, which they're pretty likely to do at that point. You can also give them a list opt-in at that point. And it's all like after they've posted that comment. And you also, there's a difference between if they post their first comment or if they post a second or last or later comment, because if they post more than one comment, there's likely to be a much higher level of engagement there. And so you can change the call to action for them. And so that's all stuff that you can do with Thrive Comments. It's a really cool plugin. Next one is called Headline Optimizer. And what this one does is it allows you to split test blog post headlines. So you got the same blog post, but, but uh, Headline Optimizer will basically rotate the, uh, the different versions of the headline and it will track which headlines are actually working best, which headlines are actually getting more traffic, more click-throughs, which ones uh, result in higher engagement on the page. Uh, and those things are, are really good because a lot of the top content 
content marketing companies out there, especially the ones that rely on Facebook traffic and the like, they split test a lot of headlines. And that's how they get those really engaging headlines that end up going viral on Facebook and stuff like that. Um, and we can implement the same exact strategy really easily right inside of WordPress using Thrive Headline Optimizer. The next one is called Quiz Builder. Now, if you've been around a while, you may know the geekery that's involved with putting together an online quiz. Um, I, I have actually made these things myself in the past uh, for clients where I had to basically manually program that thing. And it was a pain in the butt, let me tell you. And then so when Thrive Themes came out with Quiz Builder, I was like, wow, I wish this had existed a few years ago. So that's what it does. It allows you to create online quizzes and it's basically drag and drop, set your logic, and there's no programming necessary. Now, in terms of building your business, there's a couple ways this comes into play. One is that you, you know, online quizzes can go viral. If you, you know, you can do things like have people, you know, I don't know, you come up with some online quiz that's that's suitable to your business, and then you can have people share their result out on social, and the whole thing can go pretty viral and drive a lot of traffic and leads to your site. But also thrive building. Builder allows you to put custom opt-ins into that quiz depending on the answers of the quiz. So you can really segment your list beautifully based on the answers that they put into that quiz and feed the whole thing into your list and you have a really nice segmented email list at that point all based on quizzes. Quizzes also make awesome lead magnets and so Thrive Quiz Builder makes this pretty easy to do and it's a pretty incredible tool that is built inside of WordPress now. The next one is Thrive Apprentice. Now, Apprentice um, has been around a little while, but more recently, they've basically totally redone the whole thing. And it's a pretty mature solution now that I, it'll probably even get better over time. But it allows you to display and structure online courses on your site. Something that a lot of my students like to do um, is create online courses, and that you could do and you know build basically the whole foundation of a membership site, and you can do it with. Thrive Apprentice. So it takes care of organizing things into modules, allowing students to track their progress through the course and the whole nine yards. And it's it's a really, really great platform. So the fact that you can get something like that as just a function of using Thrive Themes tools and, and it all integrates together beautifully is really, really cool. Um, next one is Thrive Ultimatum. So we know that urgency and scarcity is important for conversions. And in this case, we're talking primarily about the deadline timer, the countdown timer. Now, there are some weird, funky ways of doing countdown timers. And then you got the Cadillac solutions like, like Deadline Funnel that, you know, you're going to pay a full-on monthly fee for that bad boy. And it's, it's got a lot of really great capabilities. But right there in the middle, I think, is Thrive Ultimatum. It allows you to do a lot of what Deadline Funnel does, um, but do it all right there inside your WordPress site. You can run evergreen funnels where everybody has their own deadlines. You can do fixed date deadlines. you got a lot of capability there. Um, and they're enforced. So it's not like you're putting out fake scarcity uh, that people can just easily get around. It's all like enforced with Thrive Ultimatum. So um, a very useful tool for increasing conversions on any funnel and any offer that you're making. And of course, being that all the Thrive tools work together, uh, integrating this stuff into your landing pages using Architect is so easy because these tools work together beautifully. Lastly, uh, is a little plugin that's not so much talked about these days, but it's called Clever Widgets. And what Clever Widgets does is it allows you to put logic onto any widget in your blog sidebar to control when it appears and when it does not appear. And so it's, it turns your widgets not into this global thing where you put it on there and it's gonna show up on every blog post, but you can actually control using logic when and when these things don't appear. Now, um, Clever Widgets functionality is all, also built into things like Thrive Leads and stuff like that. So you may not need Clever Widgets anymore and that's fine. That's what it does and it's nice to have access to it if the need arises, okay? So that's the whole suite of the uh, Thrive tools and why I'm such a massive fan of this is the fact that if you join the Thrive membership, which is a pretty small investment, um, you get access to all of those things. And so when I'm working with a student to build up their online business or to scale their online business, what I want to do is give them all the tools that they might need 
uh, but with a with limited startup capital because a lot of my students are in a position where they're growing this and you, you have limited funds to put into this stuff but um, and you want to get a lot for your money and that's why I think Thrive is great is because you get a lot for it. I mean it, you solve a lot of different needs. Some of them you might not even need until a little bit later in the process but it's pretty awesome that for one purchase, you've got them. Um, and that's why I'm such a massive fan of that. And Thrive Themes are very marketer focused. They're very conversion focused. Uh, they do a great job with design and all that. But some other tools are primarily focused on design. And they maybe they have some things for list building, but they don't have all the other stuff that really is very, very conversion focused. Um, and that's why I think that the philosophy behind the way Thrive Themes puts their stuff together is much more conducive to the type of things that I teach, which is actually building conversion focused businesses behind our blogs. And that's exactly what Thrive Themes enables very easily. Now, real quick, I want to talk about Thrive Themes and their Thrive membership versus some of the other solutions because I know that none of us are looking at this stuff in a vacuum. So first of all, let's just talk about like cost efficiency. Uh, one of the leading competitors with Thrive Leads, which is the opt-in plugin, is Optin Monster. Now, Optin Monster is a really great platform. I, I know the guy behind it. Um, you know, it's a nice platform. It does things very differently because it's not uh, all within WordPress. They have a, a, a web app that powers Optin Monster. And so there are some advantages to that, I'll be clear. That being said, the price for Optin Monster is significantly higher. In fact, in order to get an Optin Monster plan that best uh, goes head to head with what Thrive Leads can do for you, it's going to run you 29 bucks a month. Paid annually, that's 348 bucks, which is more than a Thrive membership that gives you access to everything I just covered. So it's kind of a no-brainer in terms of cost, right? Uh, another one that a lot of bloggers have gotten into is Sumo Me, and they've got a free option that's you know got some limitations, but it can do some basic stuff. But if you want the good stuff, you got to go into the paid version of Sumo Me, which is really expensive. It's like twice Thrive themes, and quite frankly, I don't think it's nearly as good. Okay, and so. Again, there's cost efficiency there. Now let's look at the page builder setup because there's a few options here. One uh, is Elementor. Now, Elementor is a really good solution, I'll be clear. Um, it's, it's the one that looks the most like Thrive Architect. So they go very much headed uh, hand in hand there. Um, and Elementor has some abilities that Thrive Architect does not. Now, of course, vice versa as well. So those two, Thrive Architect and Elementor, are pretty well compared, and I think Elementor has a few advantages. And also, if you go to the pro version of Elementor, it's very well priced. It's only $49 a year. So it's a good, good option. I'm not going to, uh, to BS you around on that. That being said, as I just went through the whole tour of the Thrive Themes tools, you get a hell of a lot more than a page builder. Okay, when you go with Thrive. Um, and so even though a Thrive membership is more money than Elementor Pro, Pro, you're getting a heck of a lot more for it that you're going to need as you build up uh, a full business. Whereas with Elementor, you get a fantastic page builder and a theme builder, but you're not getting some of those other pieces. So you're going to end up having to go shopping for other additional tools. And that's the big reason that I think in terms of just efficiency with your funds, I think going the route to Thrive and getting Thrive Architect, uh, along with all that other stuff I mentioned, is going to be a better bang for your buck than going with Elementor, uh, which solves more or less one need. Okay. The other thing I want to mention here is uh, Elegant Themes, which has the Divi theme. Okay. Now, Elegant Themes, I'm also a big fan of Elegant Themes. Um, and um, they've got some really nice themes. That's They started in a very similar situation as Thrive Themes, where their main focus was themes, but then uh, they branched out into the builder with Divi. And they also have a Thrive Leads alternative called Bloom, which is pretty good as well. Now, you can join Elegant Themes for I think it's like 89 bucks a year. And really interestingly is they actually have a lifetime membership now. So for one time payment of 249 bucks, you basically have lifetime access to everything Elegant Themes does. 
hey, that's a pretty good deal. Now, the thing about Divi is that I'm not as big of a fan in the way that Divi works personally. It's a good system, uh, but I think it's got some areas that the interface is a little weird and I find it a little harder to wrap my head around. The other thing is that Ele uh, the um, Elegant Themes does not have all the other marketing-centric tools that Thrive Themes does. A Thrive Themes package is much more robust in what it can do for your business than what Elegant Themes does, okay? And so Elegant, uh, they do a great job at what they do. Uh, it just doesn't have that suite of tools and the integration between them. And so you're gonna still, kind of like with Elementor, you're going to be left having to go shopping for some additional things in order to fulfill certain needs that you might have. Uh, or you're gonna be sitting there trying to do some custom stuff with Divi and that introduces more geekery and you might end up having to pay somebody. And we're trying to avoid that, okay? So that's my thoughts with regard to Thrive Themes versus some of the other major players. Okay, so that's pretty much my thoughts about why I so strongly recommend Thrive Themes to my students. Um, I mean, to be clear, yes, I am an affiliate of them, but I hope this video and the post below this has really describes why um, I, I am an avid fan of it, why I use it myself. There's really no negatives to it in my personal opinion. Um, you know, they're, you know, like any piece of software, there's going to be a few little things that are like, yeah, it'd be cool if it did that. It might not. You're, there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve with Thrive Architect, but that's going to be the case with anything you get. Um, and, uh, but it's pretty simple to use once you get the basics. And I'm, I, and the other thing too, is that I can help anybody with these tools because I use them myself. And so, uh, uh, which is another reason why I so strongly recommend it to my students because I can more avidly uh, support them with any little technical things that come up because I know the tools so incredibly well. All right. So that's why I recommend Thrive Themes. It's a really good solution. Even if you have limited startup capital, this is one of those investments that I think is definitely a worthy use of funds. It will serve you for quite some time um, and you get a lot for your money. They update it constantly. Okay. And so they're definitely earning their keep uh, and giving you a lot of great capability. All right. So that's Thrive Themes. That's my Thrive Themes review and I will see you guys later.